Hello everyone and welcome to my Coronation Street official. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Fasten your seatbelts as Coronation Street teasers for the upcoming week anticipate some heated encounters. This episode is all about the characters engaging in some brutal action. Until now, Simon Barlow was viewed putting his future at danger due to his increased drinking habits. However, next week he will endanger one of the residents' lives. Meanwhile, Damon and Sarah will move in. However, their problems will worsen as Adam Barlow attempts to liberate Harvey from prison. Meanwhile, Tracy and Tommy's scandalous affair is exposed and Bethany's long-awaited season is finally released. Scroll down for more Coronation spoilers from February 5th to 9th, 2024. Coronation Street Spoilers Simon puts Sam's life in danger. Simon Barlow has been drinking a lot since Peter Barlow departed, and it even cost him his job. However, according to the latest Coronation Street spoilers, he will pay significantly more this time around. In the coming week, Nick sends a hungover Simon home. However, he ends up drinking again. Lena becomes concerned about Simon's drinking habits. However, she is unaware that he is preparing to do something worse. The next day, he wakes up with another hangover and downs a shot of vodka. He drives Sam Blakeman to his chess competition while inebriated. As expected, Simon loses control of the car and crashes. According to Coronation Street spoilers, he quickly asks Sam to leave and run. Later, he confesses to Lene, but surprises her by lying in the face of the truth. Will he ever acknowledge it? Damon and Sarah will move in together next week on Sarah's birthday. Adam is visibly concerned as he informs Sarah that he intends to sell the flat as part of the divorce. Sarah, on the other hand, responds by explaining that it works for them because they are already moving to a new location. According to Coronation Street spoilers, Adam will now become more determined to get rid of Damon. But is he going to play dirty? Adam is devising a plan to assist Harvey get out of prison. He begins his strategy by consulting Joel and Dee Dee on how to get a mystery client off a murder charge. Later, Coronation Street spoilers indicate that the only way out is to blame everything on someone else. Harvey informs them that he knows someone named John Perry who is willing to take the blame. However, the man turns out to have cancer. Will an angry Adam choose to destroy Damon above morality? According to recent Coronation Street spoilers, Weatherfield's new lovebirds, Tracy and Tommy, are about to be caught by Tracy's husband, Steve. Tracy intends to share one last special moment with Tommy in the upcoming episode because Steve will be returning home the following day. She summons him to the flower shop in the hopes of returning an invoice. When he arrives, she closes the flower store and pulls Tommy in for a kiss. But guess what? Steve's here. Steve wants to save his marriage to Tracy. So, in an effort to make her happy, he prepares to surprise her and arrive a day early. However, when he visits her at the business and notices the closed sign, he yells her name from outside. Tracy and Tommy, both perplexed, open the door. Is their scandalous affair over? Well, not really. According to Coronation Street spoilers, Steve will be spotted preparing another romantic lunch with his wife. Tracy, on the other hand, would decline his proposal once more, claiming that he is too busy at the flower shop. When will Steve learn the truth? Bethany Platt appears overly interested in what happened between Daisy, Ryan, and Daniel. In the ensuing week, she even asks Daniel directly, but he refuses to address anything. Then she approaches Lauren, who gladly spills the entire tea, but Bethany is spotted recording the conversation. What exactly is her motive? According to Coronation Street spoilers, she wants to write about it in an article. Bethany will make the announcement in the following week. She is compelled to confess after Daniel accidentally answers Bethany's phone call, which turns out to be from the editor of Chit Chat magazine. Damon urges Eid to increase the amount of insurance claim money for the items damaged in the fire. However, Ed rejects it. However, when Ed turns his back, Damon alters his shape. Will Ed go into legal difficulties the as a result of Damon's Coronation actions? Street spoilers show a weird incident that has everyone doubting Joel. Joel meets new clientele at the bistro to offset Dee Dee's absence due to her hectic schedule. However, his expression shifts when a woman named Emily comes. The woman appears to be upset. Nevertheless, who is she? And how does her presence influence Joel? What's he hiding? Meanwhile, Nick will propose to Lee next week. 
but only if she can extract herself out of the Simon mess. He has already purchased a stunning ring with the assistance of Toya. Will he be able to prepare his proposal? Let's see. For more Coronation Street spoilers and information, visit TV Season and Spoilers. The newest Coronation Street spoilers have shocked viewers. Moses Ikendeo, a newcomer, is poised to make an unexpected departure after losing his job in Weatherfield. Moses was introduced just last month and quickly became Todd Grimshaw's love interest. However, their growing romance suffers when Moses confesses his ambitions to leave the cobbles. As the curtain lowers on Todd's brief romance, producer Ian McLeod teases a major plot surprise. But what actually caused Moses to lose his job? Tune in on Monday, January 29 to find out. Coronation Street, a huge setback for Todd's budding romance. The most recent Coronation Street spoilers indicate a major twist for Weatherfield's new face. Moses Edendeo, Paul Foreman's personal aide, was presented just last month. However, an unexpected exit is already planned for him. It everything transpired after Moses was suspended following Bernie's complaint. Moses also had a romantic relationship with Todd Grimshaw during this brief one-month span. The upcoming week's Coronation Street spoilers show Moses finally making the big announcement to Todd after their first date. Paul's personal assistant announces at the Rover's return that he is relocating to London. Last week, Bernie noticed Moses conversing with Todd on the street and figured he was skipping work. She quickly protested about him. She later regretted it and withdrew the lawsuit. But it was too late and Bernie's protest exacerbated Moses' already overworked situation. Aya McLeod, the show's producer, has previously teased Coronation Street spoilers and discussed the Moses-Todd romance. He added, There is a dalliance for Todd, but it comes at an inconvenient time, and the individual with whom he develops a connection is probably not the best fit for the situation in which Todd encounters them. The creator noted that for the time being, it's simply a small test drive of his connection, but it may become a long running later on. Was that a hint about Moses' impending return? That certainly appears to be the case. Until then, stay tuned to TV season and spoilers for more Coronation Street spoilers and updates. Can you picture one of Coronation Street's highest paid stars declaring bankruptcy? That is exactly what Bill Roach, who plays Ken Barlow and Corey, is going through as he battles bankruptcy after HMRC filed a petition. Bill has been the longest-serving and highest-paid Coronation Street performer since 1960. At 91 years old, the veteran actor is caught up in a legal battle. However, the serial actor is still keen to continue portraying Ken. This demonstrates his determination and passion for the cobblestones. Do you want to learn more about it? Keep scrolling. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.